Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> you need to boil the water first. Interest cream. Yeah, but not a lot if you get what I mean. You might have to have it all then. <laughs> This video has been brought to you by Squarespace. Use the Vincenzo's Plate code to get 10% off on your first website. Guys, let me warn you, this video is not for you if you don't feel well, if you're too delicate or too soft. This video can ruin your life. Wait, you did you too. You just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine. You just it's can't get into it because they would never <laughs>11 minutes yes and one tablespoon of salt no olive oil grab the grains and so the spaghetti will cook nicely now this spaghetti needs to be merged needs to be under the water <laughs> but there is no way they're going under the water because the water is not boiling i'll put you some fat in the pan and uh, you've got to putting fat in there it's something new maybe it's the future but I never use fat in carbonara because the fat is already in the guanciale or pancetta and when it melts it becomes oil. Sweet um spaghetti. Her laugh is contagious. The spaghetti is on a medium heat. The spaghetti is on a medium heat. <laughs> they're not boiling, but they're on a medium heat. <laughs> Most of my viewers know that my son can't have cheese. Not because he's lactose intolerant, because he isn't. I just don't care about your son at the moment. I just care about what are those steaks doing in there. What are these massive pieces of bacon doing in there? Are you making scrambled eggs with bacon? Are you making bacon and egg rolls? I <laughs> <laughs> mean you had to melt. Right. <laughs> she's, making, she's making bacon and egg rolls. Do I see the knock count too, did you? Maybe she's not gonna use the cream, which is very good. So that's a good thing, maybe. Let's have a look. And I'm going to have. Okay, let's arrive. 
double cream. She's using the cream. She ruined the carbonara. See, she ruined it. Everything was so perfect until now. She ruined it with the double cream. Why would you put you double you cream? Just there? To say that fine. Oh, let's You're go for really this. Oh, look at the bacon. Looks so beautiful. Perfect for carbonara. Anyway, it's just like. It's not even bacon. So, it's ham. Um, I'm not sure about you, but this is really disappointing that 107,000 people watched this lady doing something she never made. Oh, sorry, I ain't got camera on ya. He made So, guys, she put the spaghetti in the pot. With the cold water, it's been at least half an hour at this point because she's been recording maybe less, maybe 15 minutes, let's say. But this pasta, the top pasta hasn't cooked. The top part of the pasta hasn't cooked. Only a little bit of pasta has been cooking, but hasn't been cooking because the water is not boiling yet. This spaghetti are gonna be terrible. You're gonna have a little bit of dry, hard spaghetti, a little bit of soft spaghetti, a little bit of a really al dente spaghetti. Ah, I'm really, really, really worried. Ah, She's putting another steak in there. She's putting another steak in there. All right, all right. Let's watch the most important part of the recipe. Let's watch the moment when all the ingredients get together, we combine them, and I wanna know, I really wanna know what she's capable of doing. Because the pasta looks very interesting, the steak looks interesting. The best thing that she's done, even though she used the cream, is the cream. Now I'm going to add the cream into the... I'm getting I'm not even supposed to be doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. Where is the pecorino cheese? Have you got pecorino cheese, Kay? Pecorino cheese, have you heard about pecorino cheese? The milk that comes from the sheep. Bah, bah. You need that to make carbonara. I need that drill rock and again, I need the scissors for the bacon. Oh, right. So I, get the, I get what she's doing. Okay, now she's cooking the pasta. So the reason why she only half cooked the pasta before it's because you want to cook the pasta in the cream. Okay, that's a new way of cooking. Maybe it's the future. See the pan as it's supposed to be. Very smart. Very smart. She cooked the bacon and then she's chopping it with scissors. Very smart. Very smart, this is the future. This is the future of carbonara. You got this scissors any blunter? Where have I been in the last 37 years? Where have I been? I've never done this before. This is the future. This is how you do it. This is more fun. Guys, can you see what's happening to the cream? Thank God there is no cheese. But can you see what's happening to the cream and the eggs? All scrambling around. At the moment, it's still creamy, let me tell you. But she didn't, she hasn't been stirring the pasta. The heat, as you can see here, still high, very high. And she's still adding the bacon when she should have cut the bacon before. My recommendation is this, you always make the sauce first and then you cook the pasta. So once the pasta is ready, you are ready to mix it with your sauce. We need you, we need you. Dodo is a master chef too there. I don't watch her. You should go to Master Chef next year. You must go to Master Chef. It's gonna be so much fun. And then I will watch Master Chef. Yeah, I will watch it because of you. I'm a neat fan. Even though apparently some people say I do come on or whatever it were, Claudine, whatever. 
she's finally stirring the pasta. Look at the bottom. Look how dry the bottom is. Look how dry the bottom is. It's a frittata. Uh, now this is like this is a hot a tear. Mm -hmm. This is on a slow, slow heat. And the heat, and the heat, and the cooker moves. <laughs> and the cooker moves again. As far as I know, the carbonara is done. <laughs> the carbonara, it's done. Let's see how she serves it. So, do you want to come and do the taste test, please? No. Yes, do. No, don't do it. Don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Right, taste test. <laughs> yeah, I didn't cut it. He's a good son, very good son, I have to say. He loves his mum very much. Well done. Forget it. His face doesn't look impressed. But at the same time, he doesn't want to disappoint or embarrass the mum. Look at his face right there. He's telling you the pasta is crunchy, but it's moist at the same time. How come the eggs are scrambled? And how come? The pancetta or the bacon is not cooked right. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's thinking of, Mom, I don't know what to say right now. Let me keep eating. <laughs> Everything's um, plain. It's all plain. There's literally, it is just a slightest taste of bacon but apart from that oh no yeah bit of taste of the double cream but apart from that it's it's literally there's hardly any flavor to it so it, it's nice don't get me wrong look at her face look at her face she's so disappointed oh, i'm so, so sorry for her right now she tried so hard to do it she tried so hard she's disappointed she's looking at the pasta right now saying what have i done wrong what have you done wrong no pecorino cheese eggs Pepper? Where is the pepper? You need a guanciale or you need pancetta. Bacon is too bland, like he said. If you really want to use bacon, use a cute bacon with lots of flavors in it, you know, like as close as possible to pancetta or guanciale. I'm feeling sorry right now, to be honest. I am really sorry to disappoint Kay. She disappointed me first, but now I'm, I'm sorry, Kay. I didn't want to do this to you. I didn't want to do it to you. It's just like a little, little bits of flavor, you know? You can taste the cream. Yeah, but not a lot if you get what I mean. You might have to have it all then. <laughs> <laughs> She's upset. She said to the son, you have to have the whole thing. You have to eat it all. It's all yours. <laughs> Look how angry she is. But I'll see from, what I can do anyway. But, part, but apart from that, it's nice, so yeah, I'll give it definitely a thumbs up. Good. This video was brought to you by Squarespace. Yes, you can turn your ideas into reality thanks to Squarespace, the leader in website design. I have a website, I share videos, recipes, and whatever it is that I love with you on my website and it changed my life so you create your blog you share your passion you know you just ch choose your category you know in my case it's food your case can be fashion music and basically you choose a template there are so many templates to choose from you choose yours in my case i choose food and then i put video recipes in there i put food and then i can use my mobile phone to edit or to update. I can see who is coming to my website. I can send you emails. But the best part is that you can also sell products online if you wanna start a business. You can hire an expert if you need help. But honestly, it's so easy because Squarespace has webinars showing you how to use Squarespace. So today, we are offering you 10% off on your first website by using the Vincenzo's plate code. So make your dream come true. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Guys, thank you so much for watching this fun episode. Please don't learn how to cook from Kate. I hope she does have this channel just to piss chefs off, you know. But just have some fun. I'm sure she's having fun. She's not here to teach you how to cook. If she is, then I will be worried. 
you're a lovely woman i love your smile like you're so contagious okay keep doing that keep smiling keep wearing those beautiful t-shirts but please don't make carbonara anymore <laughs> especially for your son i feel sorry for him thank you guys we'll see you on the next vincenzo's play video recipe e ora si mangia vincenzo's plate <laughs>